Hey everybody, Amalia here with Karmic Kindness with your today's Wonder Wednesday. All right, so we are coming off Thanksgiving, heading headfirst into the holiday season, and I have been noticing with a majority of my clients, and even in my own world to a certain extent, how I'm operating more in my head and attempting to get tasks done. So I wonder if you are feeling that way as well. And I wonder if you are interested in some simple and quick and free strategies to help you navigate this period of time with a little bit of grace and ease. So the first step is connecting with your heart. And like I said, when we're in this place of the mental and looking to checkbox all of these tasks that we have set for ourselves, can we come back into our heart? And that looks like maybe some simple things like setting alarms on our phone. It doesn't even have to go off. You know, we're bombarded with noise. It could just be a silent one that pops up and it just says, love yourself or um, patience or close your eyes and hold your heart. You know, you could even just have an emoji and then you'll know exactly what it is that that emoji is telling you. So to connect to your heart, it's literally, I, I often say, put your left hand over your heart, right hand over your left hand. Your left hand is the feminine receptive. So it's almost like this is a listening device to your heart with the masculine protecting the feminine, holding her firm, uh, holding her safe. Um, not holding her down, just supporting her and closing your eyes and connecting with your heart by breathing into your heart, paying attention to you, just noticing any sensations in that part of your chest, listening. And this could take as long as you want. It could be a few seconds of just breathing into your heart center. It could be a few moments of just quiet contemplation with yourself, listening for any messages from your heart. So that's step one. Step two is moving your body. So that could look as simple as waking up and doing some simple stretches. That could look like taking a yoga class from one of your favorite yoga instructors, even doing one online, maybe catching a YouTube video, uh, taking a walk in nature. Uh, if you're a gym person, heading to the gym and spending maybe a few more minutes working on a part of your body that feels a little tense, that feels a little, uh, agitated maybe our bodies hold all kinds of emotional energy so move your body allow that energy to move and the third and final step is breathe take a nice deep breath in through the nose filling up your lungs and your belly and exhaling through your nose doing that a few times in the day and here's a very simple breath technique that you can use to reset yourself. It's inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your nose two times. On the third, inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth audibly. So that sounds or looks a little bit like this. You can even see my body just even sunk back a little bit. So it's so releasing and relaxing to allow the body to take in oxygen and release what it doesn't need. So set, you can set little silent alarms, little alerts on your phone that remind you to connect with your heart, to move your body and to breathe. And one little footnote too on the move. I'm not a big gym person and you know, you'll catch me in a, a periodic yoga class, but for me, it's really about moving my body when I feel like it needs a little something. And so maybe for you, it's not about a specific practice of going to a yoga class or the gym. Maybe for you, it's about after you've been sitting at your desk for a while, standing up and stretching and reaching your arms to the sky and bringing them to your heart and connecting with your heart in that moment. Maybe it's just bending over and touching your toes or reaching down as far as you can, just moving the body in a way that feels good to you is going to shift and change your energy and really be supportive in navigating this holiday season. 
I hope this helps. Remember, we learn from one another. So please share your thoughts about today's Wonder Wednesday. I, I'm always wondering what you are wondering about. And please do share with those you think might benefit. I will have more Wonder Wednesday for you here next week. I'll see you on Friday for Flower Friday. Some flower power cards and uh, messages from the plant world. Bye.